Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe fecal multiplication of this posterior subcapsular cataract. After thorough irrigation of the ocular surface with BSS, this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now, this is phenocaine which contains phenylephrine, tropicamide and gelocaine. And then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Only one side port has been made in this case. And now, this is capsulorexis with the help of uh, etretar forceps. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract. Rest of the lens matter is almost clear. And now, hydro dissection very gently hydro dissection is done and hydro delineation is attempted. In such cases, even a pre-chopper is not required. When the nucleus is so soft, you can just suck it out. Just go with high vacuum and aspirate the mass. If necessary, little bit of ultrasonic energy is applied in between. So, here goes the FACO handpiece with its bevel down and now vacuum is applied, little bit of ultrasonic energy is applied in between and the whole mass comes to the aspirating port of the FACO handpiece. Remove the chopper so that followability is increased and it is done. The whole lens mass has come out. This is SPMC again. Now, the cortical lens matter is being aspirated by this 23 gauze Simco cannula. To maintain the anterior chamber depth, SPMC is injected prior to use of Simco cannula. And now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from 12 o'clock and 11 o'clock. The sub incisional cortex comes easily. There is only one side port, width of the side port is about 1.8 millimeter. And now this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The capsular bag and the anterior chamber has been filled up with SPMC and then this lens is placed in the capsular bag. Now the visco is nicely washed out. This is uh, Simco cannula again. I irrigate through the aspirating port about 4 milliliter of BSS. 2 millimeter, 2 milliliter behind the lens and 2 milliliter in the anterior chamber and in the anterior chamber angle. And then I take the uh, bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli. Use the irrigating cannula through the main wound and aspirating cannula through the side port. The irrigating cannula lifts the anterior wall of the main wound and thus the anterior chamber depth is maintained. If the irrigating cannula depresses the posterior lip of the main wound, 
the antechamber becomes almost flat. So, we must lift the anterior lip of the main wound to maintain the anterior chamber. After thorough washout of the SPMC, the side port is closed, hydrating corneal stroma on either side. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. At this time, about 2 milliliter of BSS is directed towards the corneal endothelium. Any visco sticking to the corneal endothelium comes out. The antechamber is formed very nicely. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxifloxacin is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. What have we learned through this video? We have learned that in very soft cataracts, we do not have to try to divide the nucleus, not by any means, not by making a trench, not by a bridge over. We just have to do a hydrodissection and hydrodelineation and just aspirate the whole mass of the lens matter. If necessary, in between we can apply few bursts of ultrasonic energy. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.